juxtaposing life in Nigeria and life here in the UK, if I am to start all over again, or so, um, how are you guys doing? So today, yeah, oh no, or you do what you could like, okay, like, let's talk about it. Like, <laughs> what I'm trying to say essentially is, I, because I just took this little moment to think about it, like I've actually been seven years in this country, yes, yeah? September, oh, I came, I came into the UK, oh my goodness, I always mistake that date, I came into the UK, I think it's like, I came, I came in August, yeah, was it September, I, you guys, so, um, 2016, yeah, I arrived this country as an international student, and since then I have settled very well. I'll say by God's grace here in the UK, and I'm very grateful to God for that. I said so because when I came, there was no post study work visa compared to now that when people come in, you can easily you know switch visas, you know, and you know, there are steps to help you settle in better. But the Lord was this girl's muscle. But besides, if you have no idea of my story, I have about two videos, yeah, where um, I shared some of my struggle story and the early days of an immigrant, you know, my own experience here in the UK. I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave it linked down below. So looking back here, I thought to make a comparison, yeah, between life in the UK versus life in Nigeria. Life in Nigeria versus life in the UK. How has it been? Speaking of quality of life, in terms of health, social life, prospects, that's future prospects, career-wise, association, making friends, and life in general. Speaking on, on the overall first, before I break it down, the quality of life, yeah, I would say the quality of life for me here is better than in Nigeria. And that is because of um, where I was when I left Nigeria. So I finished from my university, Imo State University, went to my NYC in Okmoga, and especially my NYC, yeah, I didn't have the best times. It wasn't the best smooth sailing experience. I had my struggles. I was constantly sick, even when I graduated and started working, when I got a job eventually. Yeah, almost every two months, I fall sick of typhoid and malaria. Uh, in, as much as, in as much as I was a youth, I was about 25, 24. I graduated at I graduated at 20, finished my NYC, got a job and stuff. So I was at about 20, 23, 24, 25, you know, out of university and navigating work life in Nigeria while sleeping with my parents. The salary wasn't so bad because as I said then I worked I worked with Jimmy in Nigeria. I was earning about 70k and outside of you know commissions here and there that I get from my job, which at times brings me up to hundred thousand. And at the point, my salary became hundred thousand. I'm talking about twenty fifteen to early twenty sixteen. I was earning about a hundred thousand naira plus. If you look at it now, if I continued in my career path in Nigeria, what I was earning then and what where I was then would definitely not be where I would be now. I would have definitely grown, despite having a family and raising children because one thing for sure is I'll definitely have help which is the difference here over there I believe I, hope I might be able to do more in certain capacity more than I can now particularly in the aspect of expanding for that primarily this because I know that if I was in Nigeria given the kind of person I am I love to um, build streams of income and it will be easier for me to set up a business while having my 9 to 5, while having my social media platforms, while do, doing investments here and there. Speaking of investments, it's definitely in the pipeline, even for me here in the UK. But the business aspect, the running several things aspect that I will, that would get me to involve people, I can easily do that because labor is cheaper in my home country compared to here you really need to know how much money you have how much setup you have in terms of running your children running yourself running your business running your nine to five it's all by yourself to be able to or if you want to get help you can imagine it's going to be someone else's typical nine to five that you're not paying them anything less than minimum wage so that's going to be a whole lot for starters that is in the aspect of expansion and prospect how nigeria can be a little bit would have been a little bit more, uh, you know, should I say, 
productive for me compared to hair. But when it comes to health, the quality of my health is far, <laughs> oh my goodness, there is no comparison. It's far better here than when I was in Nigeria. As I said, when I was in Nigeria, I was always sick, constantly sick. But here, the only time I go to the hospital is just to give birth to my babies and come back. So speaking of social life, yeah, my social life, naturally, um, I consider myself an introvert. I only, I love to talk when it's absolutely necessary, right? Um, my social life back in Nigeria, um, I, the thing is, even if you don't want to talk, or even if you're not really the social butterfly kind of person, you have people come over to visit you because I'm such a homebody, or I go to the cinemas, Max, and go and watch a movie and come back. You just have friends who will pull you over or come over to your place and be like, babe, come, let's go and hang out, you know? But that really isn't much of the case here in this country because your typical tribe, it, it will take you some time to find a tribe, especially because I know that there are people over time, by the time they get more integrated into here, right, from work, from, you know, especially work as adults, yeah, they get their tribe. So this is something I'm still gradually warming into as I'm finding more space and time and the kids, you know, are growing. I'm able to, I know that, you know, there'll be some adjustments there, right? But um, social life in general, even for other people, I think a lot of people think, find it, um, maybe, they, they think this country is boring. I really do not think it's boring because the way I would, the way I live here is still how I would have lived in Nigeria, you know, in terms of my social life and activity. Because majority of people here, it's more like a mind your business kind of lifestyle. And unfortunately, many people who are minding their business are wishing you know, the next person is going to have a conversation with them because trust me, majority of people are bored. But, you know, we move. It's the civilized world. Everybody, people are trying not to, you know, um, disturb someone else. More like it. But then in terms of security and welfare, do I, do I need to say? Although some persons will tell you, oh, there is issue happening everywhere. My brother, my sister, I don't know how it does my ear when people say like that. How can you be comparing a third world country where people, where things, where, where corruption is what they scoop and eat on a daily basis with a place where a system works? A system where if something happens, they trace it down to the core. No matter how long ago that happens, I think it's really, really difficult when people open their mouth and say hey there's insecurity there is insecurity everywhere then they do start being here and there. it's not you can you can you must be kidding me to be making such business those comparison like how how can you be comparing the UK with Nigeria in terms of security there is no gain say so welfare in general here is more they, they kind of like they they more consider you know your your feeling your emotional state state of being your health your finance your career there are centers where you can go and have career conversation educational conversation look the welfare support here is huge we do not have much of those facilities back in the home country and i mean people people hardly hear you and that's why majority of my youth in nigeria they come to social media or they hold on to social media as their so called where they get to you know express express their views and express themselves and cry out, which many times, unfortunately, they are usually not heard. Like this gentleman who lost his life lately, Moba, that one, it hits me like the thing really, really pain me. You know, those are the kind of things when like Nigeria happens to you. So yeah, I said all of that to say that um, juxtaposing life in Nigeria and life here in the UK, if I am to start all over again or do things any which way, I will not do it differently. In this life, in the next life, in fact, I told God, see, in any other life, don't bomb me in that country. <laughs> Please, thank you. America is my country of origin, and the UK is my country of residence. Thank you. Mm -hmm.